uh, today we are going to see how we can benefit from the date filters or how we can use date filters in our power apps and what all things can we do uh, using the basic functions which are available in power apps so i have a customer list and i have a start date and end date column so we are going to focus only on these two columns so this is my power app and here you can see i have a list where as you can see the start date and i can see the end date okay so yeah let's get started so let's begin with the between operator so how can we use the between operator uh yeah so i already have the query built so i just have to explain you how it works so i have this list called as customers okay then what i am doing basically is that i am going to add date pickers so control date picker and control date picker okay so i have added two date pickers okay and also i am adding one here okay so now i have date picker one and date picker two okay so now what i'm doing is that basically i am doing a filter for customers where the start date is greater than equal to the date picker one dot selected date and also less than equal to date picker two dot selected date okay so for this what we had to do basically so we have to first convert the your date into text and once you do that using date value you have to format it to your local like english french uh, german the way you want okay and then uh, what you have to do is the same thing for all and for between we have the am but am uh, uh, and condition so it's uh date value is greater than equal to the selected date and less than equal to the selected end date okay so now i'm going to run this query and now i'm going to select uh first march and 31st march so now you can see i can see two two items only so before that i had five items because all the da other data is for the previous month or the next month so 31st one 2008 uh, so it's first march to 31st march the start date here is again first march and the start date here is 14th march so we, we can see that here also we only have two uh, in the march month so if i change this to in case you want to see january so you can see the other items as well but you are not able to see the one which is 2017 okay so in this way you can use the betweens operator okay and if you have any queries regarding the between operator then you can let me know again you can get this directly by so here if you see you get the intelligence for various format so english us english gb you can do that i am using it as en the basic format okay so that's about the between operator now let's move forward then you may want to do filter by today's date so all those items which are for today so that is again simple filter date value start date is today so i only have one item which is today so 
that's we this is how you can do it also remember that filter does not work for a button you have to apply that for your particular view okay like this this is a section if you apply it for on selected change here it will not work then filter by current here so you may do this this also so yeah so i will see all those items which are of current here right similarly i can do this for my current month right m n t h sorry Here also I have to do month. Okay. So let it get started. My session got terminated. You may sometimes see this issue. Let me just open my. Okay, I have the date filters. So what we are going to do is we were going to implement this for current month. So month here. Yeah. So I can see only that for my current month. Okay. So now, so you can see the change here. I'll just zoom it for those who are not able to see. So now, I guess you are able to see it. I think I'll just zoom it once again here. Yeah. So now, the query is for the current month. Similar, you can do it for the year, day, week, etc. Okay. Then, if you want to do it for the past year, that is last year. So you can do that as well. And similarly, you can do that for the past past year. So yeah. So now you can see I can see the data from the year 2017. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. And then I can see that we can change the format of the date. So let's do one thing. So let's go here. And let's change the format of the date. So start date, date value. Now it's in the French. So similarly you can change the format here. So you can use the various formats that are available. And based on the format you can specify your date. So I'll just make this default to EN. Okay. So then uh, your date in the UTC format. So you may want to see your date in the UTC format. So that is again also very simple. So I can just go here. Ampersand date UTC ampersand. Just remove this. Yeah. So now you can see that my date is in UTC format, right? So in this way you can get your date in the UTC format. Then you can change the date format. So. Sometimes you may want to display the date in your different format. So let's go away with all these and let's add this. So now you can see the way I want to display the date. So maybe if I want 
put a symbol I can do that if I want TC I have to put three times mm if I want y y y I can do that if I want only 17 I can do that if I mention only t then the zero goes away if I mention only t it comes back and if I mention three times d I can see that a you can change this the way you want but in this way uh, you can set the date format okay then display the name of the month so I showed you this so you can also use four times t so you'll get priority then next is that you may want to see the before seven days they are filter so you can use this so to show data before the seven days filter today minus seven so let us mention your start date yeah. so as per our query it wants seven days before start date should be greater than equal to the last seven days and that is why i am getting 18th uh, march Okay, let me just change this to the default format. That is this date. And if I do this, yeah. So in this way, you can get the last seven days, right? Then you may want to uh, before the seven days, seven days before this was and this is last 70 last seven days so let me just put this here so if s8 is greater than equal to today minus seven and s8 is less than equal to today so seven days before if we see so it it comes here so it is taking the today's item because we have mentioned equal to and if I mention here last suppose 15 days so it will consider the first item as well because last 15 days means the March or uh, the first March will also come because today is 14 right so in this way you can do the uh, last 15 days 10 days or you can make this value dynamic also okay now okay then i want to show you the date difference function so let's go back here okay let's add let's add the label here and here let's add our text called date difference so in this way you can mention how many days are left for completion okay and then also you can do conditional formatting here like the i can select this and i can change the color so if date difference dot is greater than 20 then Color dot set L color dot yellow. So, yeah, so in this way, you can use the date tip function to calculate the difference between the today's date or start date, end date, and do conditional formatting for the stuff we want. So, also, yeah. So this is about the date filters which we have in Power App.
I have covered most of them. I am going to share this uh, PDF with you all. And let me just share this again between operator. As I had not zoomed it and people might have requested. So let's go here and put this out here. So what have we done basically? We have mentioning the date value in one particular format for all the dates so that there is no issues with the the formatting of the date and we are just using the start date is greater than equal to the date picker one date and less than equal to date picker two date that's it so that's all for today regarding the filters and power apps if you have any queries then you can uh, write in the comments below i will reply to it as soon as possible and if you like this video please like it and subscribe to my channel thank you